Cala is helping women get a fresh start. The nonprofit Open Arms Village initially helped men with their sobriety housing program, and now they're expanding those services to women. TV Choice Asia Clayton tells us what the program offers. Women can expect a safe place. They can expect a place where um, some can finally lay their head in safety, um, knowing that their day-to-day -day needs are met while they transition to their next stage in life. Board Chair Mark Imes says when men leave the program, they're equipped with necessary life skills. Imes says they notice the same need with women too. When they move into housing, they're clean, they're sober, they have a job, they have a budget, they have savings and they're able to pay for their own housing. Three different schools are on the same road as the church, less than a mile away. I spoke with residents off camera and they believe it's good that the church is helping women in need. One neighbor tells me she's concerned this could cause the neighborhood to be more dangerous and that the schools are too close. However, Pastor Jill Beck has a solution for this. We want to invite those folks who um, may still have some questions and concerns about what we're going to offer here or what it's going to look like. We want to give them a tour of the facility so that they can become familiar with it. Officials at the church have applied for a zoning change that would allow 16 women to participate in the sober living program. Our worshiping um, community is fine here. However, when it comes to um, housing individuals here on campus residential, um, we were in need of a planning and zoning change. Um, that zoning change was going from institutional to a B2A. The church will meet with the Ocala City Council on October 15th for a final vote. In Ocala, Deja Clayton, TV 20 News.